Hi, welcome back to Prime Time Rays Educational uh, Videos. And this uh, in this session we are again going to discuss present educational system. The last session we discussed the topic, but it was in Hindi. And uh, this session will we are as you can hear we are uh, talking in English. We are communicating this video in English. And we have decided that uh, for every video we will be taking a session in Hindi as well as in English. And uh, let us come straight to the point of uh, to the point of discussion that is present education system. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when we see present education system, we do, we don't only mean about uh, uh, the present education system in India. Uh, we genuinely feel that um, there are problems in everywhere in the world, and there are problems uh, with the education that we are providing to our children, to our, to the next generation. Uh, that's why we are facing so many problems. Uh, after so many years of civilization, why are these problems again persisting? We are not able to um, curb, uh, eliminate poverty. We are not able to eliminate uh, unemployment. We are not able to, uh, you know, prevent the, the new scourge of uh, terrorism. So what are we doing? And uh, plus our new generation, they are drifting uh, away from the right topics. They are drifting, drifting away from um, the real issues of the world. We are. Uh, slowly becoming self-centered society, we are slowly becoming self-centered people who, who actually don't bother for anybody else uh, except for themselves. So there needs to be uh, some point of, uh, uh, some, some solution to the problems, there needs to be uh, some kind of uh, difference in the education that uh, we have to do something about it. And uh, again, uh, uh, I, I want to uh, talk about this because uh, uh, the current uh, the country in India we are facing uh, natural calamity in Uttarakhand that's a neighboring state so that's very sad uh, and we'll do whatever we can do for uh, the state for the people but we are again um, uh, I'm, I'm reading I'm hearing many disturbing uh, stories about what happened in Uttarakhand uh, the natural calamity, it's, uh, it's understandable, the damage has been huge, but the local people somehow they have taken undue advantage of the situation and there are some good stories about the local people who have helped uh, the victims, but again there are many stories uh, where uh, you can see they have, uh, the locals have overcharged people, the, the, the local have exploited these victims, the locals have done so many bad things, but that doesn't mean, uh, I mean, I don't mean to say that Uttaranchal, uh, the people of Uttaranchal are not good or they're not, uh, they have something uh, evil in their minds, but again, there is some problem with uh, us in general, with all the people. We are uh, getting more to the uh, commercial side of things, we are getting more to material side of things and we are uh, forgetting what uh, the true purpose of life is or what in general morality is, humanity is, or what we need to do with our, with our life. That's the uh, main problem I feel that, that we have in present education system uh, in India and as well as uh, elsewhere also. In US, uh, you see there's gun culture, uh, people go to schools and kill, uh, you know, go on a killing spree and kill so many people. So, uh, while well, there are so many problems, so, are so many things to discuss, uh, we'll primarily uh, go uh, by the topics that we have listed in our uh, article primarily. So, uh, the, the aim is uh, simple, the education system's aim is simple th and that is uh, to make money and they do so, uh, it's, it has, uh, you know, it has uh, deviated from being a uh, noble profession and now it's not a noble anymore. So, and um, what uh, uh, we do is we uh, we make literate people literate and not uh, not educated. So that's a uh, problem. Uh, they are not educated in real sense. They just uh, uh, we are preparing our generation to work in MNCs, to work in uh, industries, but not uh, uh, we are not making them good human beings. We are not giving them any common uh, sense. They are getting all kind of technical education but primarily it's not education it's uh, literacy i can say and we have created a system wherein fools seem right 
and uh, actually uh, people who are bright and who have different ideas uh, are not promoted uh, they don't get any, ch any chance to uh, survive in the system ultimately they have to work somewhere to get their uh, food to get uh, to earn their living so that's a uh, major problem you can uh, for details you can um, you know, read the whole article we are, we are just uh, covering some points here so uh, follow instead of leaders again uh, the, the people we are making through our education system are not becoming leaders they are becoming followers whatever being uh, is being told to them uh, they, they are for just following them and uh, again we have ineffective uh, evaluation system the evaluation is uh, it is not effective and uh, uh, i don't know uh, since we have moved to grading system but it is it is still not uh, up to the mark there should be something else other than this uh, grading system or mark system you know people uh, students do whatever they can to get good marks but ultimately they don't have the relevant knowledge and they don't have um, something practical to do with the knowledge so uh, again lack of personality development is there yeah i, I told that uh, in the last session too and no emphasis on creativity and in innovation they're only uh, they're only going by the books and uh, the books are obsolete now they're not uh, preparing our people for the real life so that's the problem and no focus on learning the focus is on um, exam the focus is on getting marks so there's no focus on building character there's no focus on building personality and there is no intellectual development of the child or as a student so to cut it short uh, we have got so many problems uh, to our education system and um, as i see you know we uh, people in general are again and again fooled by uh, corrupt politicians they are again being exploited by people but still they don't have anything to do and they they still uh, go the same way so that's a problem and even after so many years of independence we are still uh underdeveloped or we are still uh, developing in some areas that should change um, and overall uh, the world should also be more peaceful we are we are having so many wars going on right now it's like the world is the earth is exploding uh, somewhere or the uh, other so we need to do something about it so we have taken this initiative and let us see uh, how far we can go um the next session will be on um unconventional education system that time raises is uh, promoting and um, i'll discuss uh, the main points on this though we have a article on uh, that also but the, the article is short there is so much to discuss about unconventional education system and even uh, i would like to discuss uh, these individual points also in detail in our uh, sessions so let us see how far we can go and uh, once again as a uh, in the last session as i said uh, sorry for being uh, a bit uh, confused in the videos because i am not used to uh, recording these videos on uh, so it is a bit uh, difficult for me so let's let uh, i be comfortable for uh, you know uh, let me take time some time to understand how the medium will work and how i i get uh, to um, used to this kind of uh, thing so till then please forgive me for this bad kind of uh, feedback and you know, confused looks so uh, thanks for 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 your patience and please provide feedback whatever we are doing please 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 i want your feedback and i want your support whatever you can do uh, please uh, join time raise um, start uh, training people start uh, uh, you know forwarding spreading the word so uh, again whatever you can do to uh, to help us to help the cause please uh, please uh, help us and please uh, join us uh, helping means uh, to contribute in any way that means uh, basically providing education and providing awareness that's what we expect from you and that's what we we are uh, committed to do thank you once again thanks